Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel in this video I'll show you how to implement the sliver app bar widget in your flutter application so here I have a demo page which is a digital currency page which displays your balance and it also has a list of all your digital currency now when I scroll up you can see that this particular section that's the top section gets condensed and when I scroll down it gets expanded so this section is your sliver app bar so also you can see that um, you can see a small part of the bar is pinned to your home page and when you scroll it still remains so I'm going to show both both these uh, parts to be implemented in this video so before that I'll tell you a couple of use cases of this um, sliver app bar so the first thing that you could use is in your bank transactions say for example whenever you open a bank app the first thing that you would always be keen to view it would be your balance and your transaction so you can definitely display your balance here and your transactions here and another use case would be um, uh, would be your transportation app say for example you want to find out the routes between uh, or the trains from Amsterdam to Paris you can add here a few details about Paris like the special offers for the group ticket or if there is any other carousel sliders that you would like to add and in the list you could add the train details from Amsterdam to Paris so these are a couple of use cases for the uh, sliver app bar and now let's see the implementation part so let me get the template clear and then we can start implementing it all right regarding the implementation part first i'm going to implement this blue container and then we'll move on to the list item so here i have an empty um, widget file and in the body first i'm going to start with the custom uh, scroll view so that you could get that scroll view effect uh, when you add your list items or your grid items next next is your this is where your sliver starts so first is your slivers widget and uh, that's an array widget there you go and uh, inside this you have two components okay this is a lower case okay inside this uh, you have two components one is your sliver app bar and next is your sliver list so first we'll start with the app bar and then we will focus on the list so here comes the slivers app bar and inside your app bar you have the flexible space so first let me show you the factors that are important so first one is the title the next one is expanded height and then you need the flexible space so if you look at the app whenever you scroll you see there is one section of the uh, app bar that gets condensed so that content so whatever you see here the content that gets condensed would be inside your flexible space and inside your title section would be your the section that's actually pinned to your page so you see this section with the menu bar and um, the title and the profile this section would be defined in your title and the expanded height is your the height of this bar so let me fill in these details and um, and in order to pin your title you have to say pinned with true now uh, also another information is that most of the times whenever you implement this uh, sliver app bar I see people adding image or just a simple text but since my use case has a lot of con content in it so I'm gonna not gonna add it directly here I'm gonna add it into a separate widget and then use that widget here so I already created two app bars here so one is my flexible app bar another is my normal app bar so these are nothing but a combination of your row column text and icons 
so this is my app bar with just the um, label so i'm going to use both of these uh, dart files here so the first one is my flexible app bar and my flexible section and in my title section i'm going to use my uh, my app bar so that I would get both of these content now we're done with the sliver app bar which is the blue section now let's move on to the list section so for the list section you've got to define um, there are a couple uh, I think I just found something I've missed out uh, that is um, before adding this my flexible uh, file I am supposed to use my flex uh, I'm supposed to use a flexible space bar so I've just missed it out so it's called my flex it's called flexible space bar and inside this there is a factor called background and yeah it's called background and there is where i have to add my um, custom uh, function so there you go and uh, that is another close braces okay after this is where you define your silver um, i mean a sliver list okay inside the sliver list you have another parameter which is your uh, delegate so delegate is required in this case so I'm gonna add the delegate quickly and it's called the sliver child list delegates okay there you go and this is nothing but an array of widgets so here i'm going to define my widget and it's going to be an array of list containers so first thing uh, i have divided this section into three widgets uh, when i look into this ui um, i can think of this detail as a three column table or I can think of a combination of row and column. So it's totally how you prefer it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I've already created a function which takes this image, the detail and this uh, sparkline plugin. So this chart is nothing but using a sparkline plugin. I have achieved this and this currency detail. So all these uh, already I have uh, created a function which takes these details and displays it. So I'll quickly show you those functions. Okay, there you go. So what I've done is I've created a function called my card details. I've added the image, the name of the currency and the data one. Data one is nothing but my array of double data, uh, which represents the graph and some currency values. So instead of uh, writing it in, overloading my list with all the details, I've separated it just for the uh, readability and inside this my currency is where you have all these three sections so first section is your my leading detail and this section is my graph detail and my third section is my currency details and I'm just passing those values into the function and displaying it in rows and column combination so if I do a hard restart you can see the first list item displayed so let me do a hot restart so there you go you can see the first list item with all the details so in similar way i am gonna add my second list item with a different data set and if i do a hot restart you should be able to see the next currency detail and um, yeah so similar way you can add all your other currencies so there you go you can see the uh, second currency detail also so I'm going to show you again this uh, sliver app bar. So there you go. Similar way, I've added a couple of other currencies. And uh, if you try to scroll this, you can see this sliver app bar condenses. And then you can see the uh, app bar again reflecting. 
So this is how you implement your sl sliver app bar in your Flutter application. And I hope you like this video. Please give it a like and share. And uh, if you find this uh, informative, please do uh, share this video and do subscribe. Thank you.